Welcome to Lighthouse Kinship's devotional video. The way out is through Naomi, Ruth 1, verses 1 to 5, NLT. In the days when the judges ruled in Israel, a severe famine came upon the land. So a man from Bethlehem in Judea left his home and went to live in the country of Moab, taking his wife and two sons with him. The man's name was Elimelech. And his wife was Naomi. Their two sons was Malon and Kilion. They were Ephraites from Bethlehem in the land of Judea. And when they reached Moab, they settled there. Then Imelech died, and Naomi was left with her two sons. The two sons married Moabite women. One married a woman named Orpah, and the other a woman named Ruth. But about ten years later, both Malon and Kilion died. This left Naomi alone without her two sons or her husband. Isaiah 43, verse 2b, TLB. When you go through rivers of difficulty, you will not drown. Today is Friday, March 10th, 2023. Monica and I are here at Morris Vineyard, Charleston, Tennessee. Rivers of difficulties come in many degrees of strength, width, depth, and length. For my mother, her rivers of difficulty started before she made her appearance in this world. Her father was already making life-changing decisions that cut the river that was flowing through her life deep and wide with troubled waters and strong, turbulent winds. At five years old, mother experienced the first of many troubled waters and turbulent winds when death came into her already unstable waters. The death of her mother left her and her two older siblings and one younger sibling in the deep storm-tossed waters of confusion and neglect. In the book of Ruth, we find Naomi in the deep storm-troubled waters of confusion and neglect. Ruth 1, verses 1, 3, 4c, and 5, NLT. In the days when the judges ruled in Israel, a severe famine came upon the land. So a man from Bethlehem in Judah left his home and went to live in the country of Moab, taking his wife and two sons with him. Then Elimelech died, and Naomi was left with her two sons. But about ten years later, both Malon and Kilion died. This left Naomi alone without her two sons or her husband. Instead of looking upward when the waters of affliction became unbearable, Elimelech made a decision that caused his, Naomi's, and their son's lives to become deeper and wider of waters of confusion and neglect. Romans 12, verse 1 and 2, Amplified. Therefore I urge you, brothers and sisters, by the mercies of God, to present your bodies, dedicating all of yourselves, set apart, as a living sacrifice, holy and well-pleasing to God, which is your rational, logical, intelligent act of worship. And do not be conformed to this world any longer with its superficial values and customs, but be transformed and progressively changed as you mature spiritually by the renewing of your mind, focusing on godly values and ethical attitudes so that you may prove for yourselves what the will of God is, that which is good and acceptable and perfect in his plan and purpose for you. Are you or your loved ones in the deep, wide waters of confusion and neglect because another individual caused the waters of your life to become storm-tossed with turbulent winds and a raging current threatening to drown you or your loved ones? In the last chapter of the book of Ruth, Naomi realized that with God, the way out of our storms is through them. Isaiah 40, verses 8 and 11, NLT. The grass withers and the flowers fade, but the word of our God stands forever. He will feed his flock like a shepherd. He will carry the lambs in his arms, holding them close to his heart. He will gently lead the mother sheep with their young. Isaiah 46, verse 4, NLT. I will be your God throughout your lifetime until your hair is white with age. I made you and I will care for you. I will carry you along and save you. 
7.35 a.m. Christmas morning, 2003, Mother walked securely and safely through her last storm with God's divine hand carrying her home. Psalm 18, verse 30, NLT. God's way is perfect. All the Lord's promises prove true. He is a shield for all who look to Him for protection. This concludes our devotional video of Lighthouse Kinship. The way out is through Naomi. Romans 15, verse 4, New King James Version. For whatever things were written before were written for our learning, that we, through the patience and comfort of the Scriptures, might have hope. Romans 8, 28, NLT. And we know that God causes everything to work together for the good of those who love God and are called according to His purpose for them. Monica and I thank you for traveling along with us here today at Blue Hole Spring and also the Eternal Flame for the Cherokee Nation, Red Clay State Historic Park, Cleveland, Tennessee. Come along and journey with us by subscribing to our channel. Hit that little notification bell so that you won't miss our next stop. And please give us a thumbs up liking our videos and help us to spread the gospel by sharing these videos on your social media platforms. Thank you for leaving your comments below on how these devotions are helping you and also your prayer requests so that we know how to pray for you.